Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be going through the post product for sale page. So if you are confused about anything that's going on on this page, stick around and I'm going to walk you through it. We're just going to click the back button. I have a mug, a very simple mug that says good morning, and we're going to post it for sale and I'm going to walk you through each step. So the first thing we need to do is add a title. And if you are, and if you're confused at all about how titles work, I recommend you go check out my metadata explained video because I walk through exactly what you need to put into your titles and your descriptions and your tags in that video. So I will link it above. So good morning because the mug says good morning on it and then simple black typography. And now for the marketplace department, Zazzle will usually kind of guess which one it's supposed to be in. And so usually it's right, but every once in a while you do need to browse the departments and select your department manually. And you want to make sure you have the right department selected because if people are searching by department, you want them to be able to find your product. So we're going to click mugs and cups. And then for me, I skip my description for now. I come back to it because I use my product description prompt generator. I highly recommend you go check it out. It's linked in the description. Otherwise, for the description, again, please go watch the metadata explained video because that's going to explain exactly what you need to do. Now, product merchandising. So this is how your product will appear in the Zazzle marketplace. Please review and pick your merchandising options carefully. This is going to be the photo that shows up in the Zazzle marketplace. So you can change that by clicking change options and you can click any of these. So we can pick the one with the donuts if we want and then click OK. But you can also change the style of the mug if you want. If you want to offer a different style mug or the size and then with these styles, some of them have different colors. So you can choose that way as well. And then the other option we have is sell this design on and then you have all options or you can click which one you only want them to sell on. So if you only want it to be available on this size mug, then you can make that selection. And then some products have another option under the merchandising. It's the ones with models. As you can see, this product, this hat has a model as an option for displaying it. So when you click sell it and go down to merchandising, there's another option here that you can select. Do not display any product images with people. So if you don't like the models that they're showing, then you can have the option to turn those images off. If you do select to sell this design on and then coffee only, they won't be able to change like they can change which style they want on the product listing page, but that takes away that option for them to be able to choose which style if they want it on a different style mug. Okay, now let's talk about categories. So we definitely want to be picking the events and occasions. And Zazzle has tons of events and occasions to pick from. They have expressions. I find these are really good for like greeting cards. They also have holidays. So they have tons of holidays listed here. And they have occasions, which are kind of like life events, and then other. And I find for me, a lot of my products end up going into the other category. So if you're unsure of where to put it, just put it in other and press OK. And the recipient. So who is this mug for? For me, it's a script font. So it's probably going to be more for a woman. So I would click for her and then you have the option to narrow down further of like who that person is. Is she your aunt? Is she the bride? Um, so there's lots of options to choose from. And then we also have for them, for pets, for kids, for him, and then for anyone as well. So pick whoever you think your product fits best for. And then we have the store category and I have a video on categories and I'll link it above and I'll link it as well in the description that explains like how the categories on Zazzle work. But basically you want to select which category this product is going into. Obviously it does not go into birthday invitations, so we're going to change it. This one would just go into other because I don't have a category for it. And you can also create a new category if it doesn't fit into any of your categories. And then you can also choose what shop it's going into if you have multiple shops. Next, you want to pick your collection that it's going into. And this was a little bit buggy when they first released this. This is a fairly new feature to be able to select your collection on this page, but it seems to be working fine now. So I would recommend 
putting your products into a collection. And then it's your tags. And so you want to be using 10 targeted, relevant, and unique tags. And again, if you're unsure about your tags, go to the Metadata Explained video because I go through all of it there. So let's put in some tags. So what I do is I kind of look up what my mug would be and then I look up so typography, unique, trendy, those would all work as tags. Okay, so we've got our tags and then what I do is I pull, I grab my product description prompt generator, which I have here, and then I'm going to view all my tags, put that in there. I'm going to go back here, grab the title, put that in here, and then I've got the product type is a mug. Oops. I don't really have a niche for it exactly, but I just put good morning and the target audience, women who get up early in the morning. And then we're going to create a product description from that. So I am going to put the emotional connection. And then let's go over to ChatGPT. And then I'm just gonna paste what I grabbed from my product description prompt generator because I just copied this cell. And then it creates my product description. And then I grab that make sure that it all makes sense. And then I'm gonna put that description in there. And then that description now has tons of keywords that Google or other search engines can latch onto so that they can rank that product. And if you wanna check out the product description prompt generator, the link is in the description below. I don't have a collection to put this into, but that's okay. And now we wanna look at additional information. So we've got G rated. I would recommend making all your products G-rated. You're just going to have a way easier time making sales. We want to make sure the product is visible and then show customize it button. It's up to you on this product. There's not really much room for the customer to be able to customize it, but you never know what they might want to do. There are some products in the marketplace where you need to select no. Um, there aren't too many. It's like the espedrels and which I posted about a video about how to design on those and I'll link that above. And then also I believe the embosser tool that you're not allowed to allow customers to customize it. And then we set our royalty and I will make mine 10%. And then I have the right to publish and sell this product without violating others rights. And I agree to Zazzle's user agreement. That's all you need to do for the post product for sale page. A brief overview. We need to have our title. We need to select our department. We want to put in a lengthy description with lots of keywords for search engines like Google to be able to latch onto. We want to pick our product mock-up page or like which image is going to show in the marketplace and you can change that here. And then if you only want them to be able to select just this one coffee mug, then you can choose that option here, sell this design on. And then we need to pick our categories. We want to pick the events and occasions, the recipient, and then our store category, as well as which store it's going into. Pick your collection, do your 10 tags. And if you're not sure what your tags to put, like what tags to put in, go search your product in the marketplace and see what tags are popular. And then the additional information and royalty information. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you learned something, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye.